Hey guys, Brandon Wollum with CCM Magazine, hanging out here in America with some guys who are across the ocean from us over in the Netherlands. What's up, Trinity? Couple hey. of guys. Hey, Trinity, hello. How you you doing, guys, uh, you got a pretty big uh, couple days, or maybe it's just a, like a little over a day over where you're at. You got a new EP coming out this Friday. Uh, talk to us a little about that. What to expect for the, from that release? Yeah, this weekend we're traveling to Basel, which is a beautiful city in Switzerland. Uh, and it all comes together nicely because we're also releasing five new songs this weekend. So it's gonna be one big happy weekend of, of playing at two festivals and releasing five new songs. That's awesome. Uh, so is this album, are the vocals in Dutch or English or is it a combination it, of the two? It's English with a little bit of Spanish in one of the songs, yeah. Because uh, what we do with our Trinity music is mostly English and some Spanish, because we grew up in Peru, part of us. Part of our, uh, our band grew up in Peru, in South America, so we do speak Spanish as well. It's a lot of languages you guys got in those brains. <laughs> <laughs> One yeah, of these songs is going to be a... Neither people speak Dutch, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is all very confusing as it comes to the Netherlands. We speak Dutch, which is not German. Uh, we are the Netherlands, which is also Holland. It is a little bit much. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we, we don't like people visiting, so we try to make it as complex, complex as possible. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what are these songs uh, going to be a little special? Have you guys announced, like, what's special about the, the one song on there that may not be written by you guys? Or is that going to be a surprise for everybody? <laughs> no, it's not a surprise. We, we did one cover. We, we, we thought we could afford that. And we've, we've played this song a bunch on festivals and on shows, and everybody always liked it. And we were doing this EP and, and it's got a really folky vibe to it. So we thought, why not throw in a cover by Mumford and Sons, uh, uh, Awake My Soul. Well, obviously we're doing the cover, they're not doing the cover. <laughs> <laughs> and if people haven't heard you guys, you guys kind of always have a folky vibe. So if yeah. somebody's watching this and has never heard the band Trinity from the Netherlands, kind of explain the band to that person. <laughs> well, you can, you can imagine that coming from Peru, South America, uh, we always uh, had a bit of a folky Andino vibe because we, we grew up not with the Latin music, not with the salsa side, but mostly with the, the folkloric music, which is more like inland. And uh, we took that to the Netherlands as, as kids. And then when we were 16, 17, we started traveling to Ireland loads of times with my friend Bert, who was here in, in the conversation with us. And that's where we encountered a lot of Irish folk Later on, we also listened to lots of Nashville music, also lots of bluegrass, country music. And I don't know why, but it all, it all sort of melted together in, in, into this eclectic world music, world, world pop, actually. And uh, well, it, 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 it always gave us a nice way to, to, to express ourselves in a, in a unique way, which, which is our story, really, and also uh, we've also always tried to um, be fully authentic in our in our lyrics. We've always tried to to write from the heart. And since we we are for for kids who grew up in church, it is it is always very faith uh, driven what we do. Yeah. And all that together uh, for people listening to Christian music here in America, they're going to hear some instruments on the CP that they likely don't hear in a lot of Christian songs. I mean, you're right. You, you play a flute in these songs. So what kind of instruments uh, can, we, can we expect in these uh, songs on the EP when we listen on Friday? Lots of horns this time. Uh, lots of trumpet, bugle, uh, even, even a, a sort of a tuba. And, and some, some wind instruments, some, some, uh, some s mostly whistles. And we've also asked a friend of us to play the Illum pipes, which is like the ir Irish version of the, of the bagpipes. Hmm, that's awesome. So the name Trinity Street, where's that come from? Is that the street you guys live on? <laughs> no, it isn't. It is a street in Dublin, however. We, we, when we were teenagers, we were in, in, uh, in Ireland a lot of times. And uh, when we were looking for inspiration for a new band name, we, we came to Trinity because we, we loved the, the meaning. But obviously, we'd also been very inspired by Ireland, where everything is called Trinity. Uh, in Dublin, you have Trinity Street, the Trinity University, mm -hmm. Trinity College, Trinity Hotel, Trinity everything. So. We kind of got brainwashed there. And when we went back, we thought we, we, we'd call this song Trinity Street because we played there as well. So are there other bands over there with the same, same name as you two? Is there other Trinity bands? 
if, if you go looking on Spotify and you just type Trinity, you'll find a load of other bands. But if you go looking for Trinity NL, that's us. So make sure you type that in Friday. Trinity oh, yeah, NL definitely. to get the right one. Yeah. So I'm sure a lot of these songs uh, written during the pandemic these past few years. How did all that affect the songwriting this time? Well, we, after, after the pandemic sort of uh, was over, we immediately booked a trip to Ireland <laughs> because we had a bit of a... Uh, we we had some some how do you call this uh, air miles or we had some yeah we had some vouchers some plane vouchers, vouchers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For plane tickets so we immediately booked a ticket to Ireland because we thought that would that would really liven the spirits and only the perspective of that journey already made us write new songs uh, and then we finished those songs on an Irish farm where not only lambs were being born but also songs and on the farm we had a nice Skype session with our with, with our friend, our producer in Nashville, who's called Ian Esklin, you might know him. And uh, that's when the whole ball, ball started rolling. We recorded those songs back here in the Netherlands in our home studio. And uh, yeah, now they're finished. And it's, it is sort of a result of, of finally, uh, uh, yeah, you know, you know how, how it works with those champagne bottles? <laughs> when you open them, like poof, it bursts out. Yeah. So, that's, so it, is, it is in a way, <laughs> the, the whole COVID champagne bottle that suddenly opened and five songs came out and bam, this is it. That's awesome. So you guys have been over here to America. You follow the American Christian scene. How does it compare to the Netherlands Christian scene? How's the scene over there, the music scene? Well, that, that's a good question for Bert because he also works in, 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 in radio. So, Yeah, it's, it's a lot smaller, obviously, because we're a lot smaller country. I think people look to the States for inspiration to see what's happening. Uh, uh, but I think also that, that we, we may have some vibes that, that, that might influence people back in America if they heard it. Um, but we, yeah, we, it, it's, it's a similar, but a lot smaller. So you guys going to get back to America soon? Any plans to uh, try to get over here now that somewhat the pandemic is at least somewhat under control for now? <laughs> we haven't we'd booked anything to, yet, yeah, but course. we'd love to, yeah. Are they letting Americans come over to there yet? <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think so a little bit already yeah <laughs> so you guys yeah, are having a uh think there was a big gig here in the netherlands with uh 10, oh, yeah, was people here. and lecrae was here so uh yeah. it's starting finally oh that's awesome well if people it's want happening. an excuse to head over there you guys are doing a retreat in september right you want to tell us a little yeah, bit yeah people can come to that yeah we are a special band because this time we're gonna retreat back into a monastery with our fan base which is is gonna be awesome we We've done this already for two years, and the third time, it's it, well, yeah, we're, we're looking forward. We always book a weekend at that monastery where we're friends with, and uh, last time there were 150 people joining us in the prayers and also in the campfire sessions and uh, drinking a nice bottle of craft beer. It was a good time, so we're repeating that. <laughs> and if people want to get involved in that, where do they, where do they sign up at? They should go to our website, which is bandtrinity.com. And we'll direct you from there. Awesome. You guys uh, performed a song for us the other night and sent it to us. Uh, we're going to play that at the end of this interview. What's the name of the song? Tell us a little bit about that song we're going to hear here in just a minute. That's obviously the single. Couldn't be anything else. Trinity oh, I was doubting. I was doubting. What, what song did you <laughs> Well, I, yeah. I'm glad we did the single because that's a good, that's a good choice. Trinity Talk to us about the song. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a very, uh, yeah, it's, it's a song that we literally played on the street. It draws people in. Uh, we, we, we sort of call, call ourselves craftsmen of heavenly parties everywhere we go, every festival, every, well, you, you just got to hear it, I, I guess. Yeah, so stick around for that. And uh, we're going to let you guys go, go to bed here in just a little bit. That's a seven hour time difference over there. So it's almost bedtime yeah. for you boys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Hey, everybody. Uh, this is the Ben Trinity from the Netherlands, which Woo-hoo. is Holland. Which uh, is Amsterdam, Amsterdam our capital, Europe. which is Europe. And uh, we are reaching out to you from all across the ocean to CCM Cafe. Thanks for having us. Yeah. We are a Dutch band and we play a mixture of folk music influences from all over the world. Uh, we are three brothers and one friend. This is the friend we met in high school. His name is Bert. Woo-hoo. And that's my younger brother, Nick, on the drums. My oldest brother, John, on the guitar. And, I'm, and my name is Albert. And we have the glad announcement that we have a new song which we are releasing right now for the first time for you guys. We wrote it in Ireland. And we wrote it in Ireland, by the way, yes. Together in with, Dublin. Together with Ian Esplin. 
with Ian Askelin, good a good friend from Nashville, and uh, our song is called Trinity Street. Let's go. One, two, two, one, two, three, come on. Everybody needs somebody, and the song sing their troubles away. Let your hair down, don't be scared down. Let the strum beat take you away. That's a day. Trinity from the Netherlands. Hope to see you someday. Bye-bye.